Thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Jairo and I'm from the island of Aruba situated in the Caribbean. While most of my content is focused on my home island, I occasionally get to travel to some amazing destinations which I truly enjoy sharing with you. My channel originally started out with more travel content but shifted focus during the pandemic. Rest assured that I will continue to bring you a mix of both whenever possible. With that out of the way, let's move on to this one. Good morning guys, welcome to Amsterdam. This morning I'm waiting for my train to head to Paris for a two-week trip down in France. That's like almost like a first time for me because when I was in France many many years ago I was basically a kid and I don't remember almost anything anymore. And yeah, we are here at the Amsterdam Central, which I was also last year. And we have one of those trains leaving right now. Without further ado, I'm going to wear back my mask, which is mandatory on these stations or in these stations on these platforms. So let's get to this one. There are cheaper options, but for this trip we chose the Thales High Speed Rail, which takes just over 3 hours. This 431 km journey starts at around 35 euros one way, but we opted for the Comfort Class, which was around 65 euros. The main difference is a more comfortable seat. While it's surprisingly difficult to vlog on board the train, let me take you for a brief tour of the restroom, which I found to be surprisingly nice and clean. For convenience, the large bags and suitcases are stored at the entrance. There is free Wi-Fi and I must admit it was very different to edit my videos with this view. Before you know it, we arrived at Paris North Station. While many may choose to fly, I find traveling on trains is a much simpler process, comfortable, mostly on time, and you arrive without the fatigue that flying often gives you. For convenience, we took a taxi from the station to our hotel, which was the Mercure Paris Center Tour Eiffel. As you can see, we chose this 4-star hotel because of its proximity to the tower. After check-in, we headed to our room. So, welcome guys to the Mercure Hotel. We're going to check out the room now and do a somewhat of a room tour here so we got two single beds and in our case i'm traveling with my father and so we have the art phone a lamp here which i think is pretty cool for reading at night and these plugs are obviously which is are the european uh plugs so the power connections a probably a 40 inch or so tv with the tv channels more plugs here if you need that in my case i always like to have several of these so i can charge all the batteries all of, you know like the phones batteries and everything what else so there's a chair here if you want to sit here for a bit we do not have a how would I say it? a view of the Eiffel Tower, but we are situated very, very close to it. And a fridge, and it comes out water included, I, I suppose. A safe. You can make your coffee right here. Also, <laughs> a mirror, and I haven't even checked out these. So, they got the hair dryer. And space enough space I do believe for the two of us they do have orthopedic pillows now what I did like and I did check out already is that the toilet is separate with you know like extra toilet paper and it's so it's separate from this from the bath up and everything else let's see we got uh, kleenex we got the uh, towels we got more for your like shaving machine or something we got obviously the soap 
that's nowadays so important and a mirror for shaving very important so this room is actually pretty pretty nice not too big but i do like it so far and we're going to stay here for like uh, four nights so it should be a pretty interesting stay here so the hotel we are staying is just to the left of that building that you see just behind the flag and so i turn around and the eiffel tower is right in front of us already so it's maybe like 200 meters from it or so amazing very very amazing now we don't know if we're going to try and go up today it is a little bit cloudy and when we were coming with the taxi we couldn't actually see the top of it so we are now but we're gonna check out the lines and see what happens I don't even know if we're gonna go up I've heard that it's very difficult to go up because of the long lines and now with all of the restrictions and everything I don't know if this is going to be like even worse let's see there were indeed some long lines and since we didn't have lunch yet we opted to first go for that at a restaurant nearby Grab, it's a special in Bordeaux huh? I was in Bordeaux like uh, six years ago <laughs> oh yeah I'm 86. Sorry, 87. One more. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Really sure? <laughs> I don't know what I can say. It's good. So we're gonna try this wine now. It's good. And it's served warm, of course. And we got the whole bottle. So, of course, we are in Paris. We are in France. And, of course, we got to get an onion soup, which was recommended to me. But it's so hot, so I'm going to let it cool down a little bit. It is still super, super hot. Definitely good. My father ordered the steak while I had a salmon and a souffle for dessert. Hello, bon? It's very good. After the late lunch, we slowly headed back to the Eiffel Tower to check out the lines. So while everybody wants to get up at, you know, like during the day, we are going to try to go up there at night and you need to have your covid vaccine um like the certification for it and also you got to go through the a lot <laughs> yeah <laughs> get my back on and so you also have to go through security of course and have your mask on and such and we're gonna go now to buy our tickets now there are different levels here and yeah we're gonna find that out right now
So I'm walking right under it. And there's some lines. I don't know if they're long or not. While waiting for the elevator, the tower started to twinkle, which it does for five minutes every hour on the hour. If we take a look, our hotel is situated just behind those buildings. So like, I would say less than two blocks from the Eiffel Tower. And we dine down here, one of these buildings behind it. And yeah, so that's very, very close. To the Eiffel Tower it's so convenient so practical to be so close to it and even though we're gonna visit other places of Paris I feel like already like every every day every night even we could like be walking around in this area which is pretty cool I could not even start to explain how beautiful the city looks at night Everywhere I looked, there was something to see, something to spot. here super super cool it's moments like these that I realize how much I miss traveling like we used to so much has changed except my desire to visit new places and have new experiences and making new memories I'm extremely grateful that at his age I was still able to do this trip with my father my hope is that we may inspire you to take that trip you've been planning for too. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.